Welcome to part 14 of my server 2025 training series. Today we're going to be talking about creating golden images with Hyper-V. So what is a golden image? It's really just a snapshot of a system that's used to create new VMs and or image new workstations. Why would we use a golden image? The main reason is we just want to speed up our deployment of VMs or workstations. So what a golden image is going to give us is it's going to allow us to fully install any updates or proprietary software that we need, and we're also going to be able to skip the lengthy Windows Server installation process. So let's get into it, see how we make these. In our lab today, we're going to create a new VM. It's going to serve as our image. We're just going to call it gt-image. We're going to fully update this VM, and then we're going to sysprep it, which is a fancy way of saying we're going to generalize it, where it can be readily deployed as a separate virtual machine. In our lab, we're going to go ahead and create a new virtual machine. We're just going to call it that GT image name. And next, Gen 2 is fine. Uh, startup memory, that's fine also. We'll use dynamic memory. 127 is totally fine for the hard disk. And let's go ahead and mount our ISO we're just going to use a copy of server 2025 to stay consistent with the course and we're going to go to our settings and the reason I'm using dynamic memory now is I'm trying to get a kind of a gauge of how much RAM I can potentially save because I'm running out with this 32 gigs of RAM it looks like currently since converting over, I'm using about 16 gigs, which is pretty good. We'll have plenty to finish the course with, but just want to let you know there. So let's go ahead and connect and start it up. And we're going to go through the full server 2025 installation since this takes time. I'm going to go ahead and knock this out. And I'm also going to run updates on this device. And we'll resume as soon as we're ready to start the imaging process. And we're back. We have our freshly installed, fully updated copy of Server 2025 on our GT-Image server. So at this point, if you wanted to install any software, this is when you would do it before you would uh, actually do the sysprepping process. Since I don't have any software that I need to install or really anything that I plan on installing later even, I'm not going to because the main purpose of this is just to ensure that all updates are installed and we don't have to wait an hour to fully update a VM when we deploy it. So we're going to go to CDC slash Windows System32 sysprep. And this is going to be the directory where executable lives. And we're going to run sysprep.exe. And we're going to say we want the out of box experience. We want to generalize this VM. We want to shut it down once it's finished. And we want the mode to be VM for virtual machine. So sysprep is going to load up. It's going to go ahead and hit that generalization phase. And this will take just a bit, so I'll pause and we'll resume as soon as this part's finished. And we're back. So everything has finalized. You can see that the VM turned off as we told it to do in that sysprepping process. And just as a heads up to give a little more information with that slash mode colon VM uh, modifier there, really all that's doing is it generalizes that VHD file so we can redeploy it in another VM. So now that we have all this done, let's go to settings and let's look and see where our VHD is. So we see it's right here. We're going to go ahead and copy this directory and open it up. So since we know this is our image, we're just going to create a new folder here. We're going to call it golden image. So we know that this is our latest copy. And we're just going to copy it right here. And since there's not a whole lot going on with this disk, it should finish in a jiffy. And while that's going, we're going to go ahead and click OK. We're going to create a new virtual machine. And we're going to go ahead and call this dt-file1, because this is going to be covered in our next lesson when we create a file server. 
NT is fine. That's fine. We're going to use dynamic memory again. That's also fine. And for here, we're just going to say we're going to attach a virtual hard disk later. We're going to go to settings. We're going to modify our memory. We're going to cap it at 4096, say 4 gigs. And now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this again. And let's do this. Let's actually rename this. We're going to call it copy. We're going to copy here. We're just going to paste it in our base hard disk directory. And as soon as this is done, we're just going to rename it gt-file1. So it looks like it's good. Let's go ahead and rename. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our SCSI controller. We're going to add a hard drive. We're going to browse and we're just going to pick that GT file one and apply. We're going to go ahead and deselect our time synchronization. That's just to keep in line with the previous lesson with our NTP settings. And we're going to start the VM. Oh, and I actually forgot one thing that we need to do to get this working. We're going to close out of this. Let's go ahead and turn off that VM. So here in the firmware, we have to move up the boot order. And we're going to set the hard drive as our primary boot. And great, we're set to two processors. That's great. So let's go ahead and start. And let's reconnect. So what we should see now is it's going to build that boot for us based off of that VHD file and it should start right up. But just to verify it's doing what it's supposed to, great, it created the boot file for us. So it should be booting up any second now. So this may take a hot minute, so let's go ahead and pause and we'll resume as soon as the server's running. Okay, now that we're back, we see that our sysprep works successfully. We can just click next here. License term, sure, we'll accept those two. We're going to set our admin account. And we're good to go. So you can definitely see how this is much quicker installing Windows from an image than it is doing a clean install. I hope this has been informative for you, and I hope that you catch me in the next video. We'll actually be using this VM to create our first file server. But thank you again for watching, and please like and subscribe. Peace.